everyone, my name's LazerJet and today we're playing another Train Simulator 2022. Uh, I keep forgetting the year. Today we're back doing another race and this time uh, someone on Instagram uh, messaged me saying that their son is a massive fan of the channel and they wanted me to do this particular video. You know who you are. They asked me if I could do Royal Scott versus the Flying Scotsman. It's LMS versus LNER. And I have to say that the Royal Scott and Flying Scotsman, these two are rivals. Like Gordon and Spencer. But we are going to race these two dudes and we're going to see which one is the fastest. Probably the Flying Scotsman. But I do want to say thank you to the person who did reach out to me and saying that their son is a big fan of the channel. Uh, make sure you subscribe. You're probably all subscribed already. But I want to say to everyone, make sure you subscribe as well because we are so close to 80,000 subscribers. But if you're already subscribed, get your mum or your dad's account, get them to subscribe to the channel. Mums and dads do like my videos. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel. It's just a click of a button. So, we're gonna program both these engines. I don't actually know. Someone did ask me if like, next time I do a race, can you try to do 999% power? Let's try that. So we're gonna go to the word editor, click the train icon because you can't see it because my uh, face is in the way. So first things first, Royal Scott is on platform three. So uh, Royal Scott is engine number one and we want you to go on platform three. Now I wanna see what happens if I put it on at 999% power. The highest I could probably go is 200% power. Because if I put 201% power, it just goes back to 200. So I think the highest percent power I can ever go is 200. It's a bit annoying. In fact, let's keep it at 200% power because I don't know what I don't know what's going to happen. Flying Scotsman on platform four, and Flying Scotsman is engine number three. And where's platform four? There you go. And let's put you on. 200% power as well. Now the programming can go horribly wrong, or it could go well. We don't know. That's that's why I do these. I know I've said this already, but please subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you. Right, let's get racing. Let's click the play button. Are you sure you want to save this scenario? Yes, let's see what happens. I, li I don't know what's going to happen. We are racing. So let's see. Uh, so far, so good. Flying Scotsman and Royal Scott are practically doing the exactly the same speed. Now, Superclass 47, we're going to be driving you. Lights on, brakes off, reverser forward and regulate, well, throttle, I should say. Uh, is on. Lovely. So, Royal Scott has got a little bit of the lead at the moment, which looks, I have to, admit, I have to admit, Royal Scott does look very nice. It's probably one of the prettiest steam engines I've ever seen. But Flying Scotsman's falling behind a little bit. Royal Scott is... Uh, going a bit faster, which is very interesting. Oh, hello, Flying Scotsman's picking up a bit of speed now. Oh, the, 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 I can't speak. My, how the tables have turned. Goodbye, Royal Scott, your last place and slow. Flying Scotsman's got a massive lead now. Royal Scott is falling behind. Bear in mind the speed limit is 1,900 miles per hour. It's pretty insane. And if we try and stay in sync with Flying Scotsman, she's doing over, uh, I think, 90, over 90 miles per hour. I think she's doing about 100 now, but must be, uh, maybe. Okay, I'm in sync with Scotsman. I'm doing 109 miles per hour, and she's still starting to speed up a bit more. Royal Scott, I, I don't, don't even know where it is. Oh, my God, look at the speed of this now. LNER is victorious, and LMS is lost. Oh, my God, look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God, how fast are we going now? 150 miles per hour, ah! and she's still speeding up. This is insane. But because we're going so fast, Fly Scotsman has lost her sound. Her sound isn't programmed to go at this speed. I am doing 184 miles per hour, and Scotsman's still going faster than me. Oh my god, how fast is she going now? Let's try and catch up to her. Come on, Scots Scots Scotsman, no, come back. I'm shaking myself to pieces. Okay, I am doing 225 miles per hour. Basically, double the speed that Mallard did. Okay, she's slowing down a bit now. I'm doing 215 miles per hour. Where is the Royal Scott? So we're here. Royal Scott is... It hasn't even gone to the, around the, the, the corner yet. I think, I think I've just made her lose all of her steam. So at 200% power, Flying Scotsman is the fastest. But what happens if I leave it at 75% power? Would the result be different or the same? Let's find out. So Scotsman won the first round at 200% power, but if I put them at 75% power, will the result be the same? 
And here we go once again, second time round. I don't know if the result is the same or if Royal Scott will be victorious because um, in the first race, she did lose all of her steam because I put the power on way too high. So let's see what's going to happen when both of them are on 75% power. Hmm. So at the moment, Royal Scott has got the lead, but Flyer Scottson did catch up and overtook Royal Scott as she is doing right now. So I think the result is the same. So here comes Flying Scotsman overtaking the Royal Scot. But now that we're only on 75% power, Scotsman's now limited to do a certain speed. And hopefully Royal Scot will not lose all of her steam like the last round. I'm doing 84.3 miles per hour, which is... For 75% power, that's actually still pretty fast. So I'm going to try and stay in sync with Flying Scotsman. Oh, God. See, the tiniest amount of braking I have with the Superclass 47, it just stops instantly. This thing's nuts. So my sync speed is 80.6 miles per hour, which is still actually pretty fast. But weirdly, the Royal Scot is still pretty slow. The Royal Scot is out of stamina, which means it can't accelerate and it's just going to get slower. Meanwhile, Scotsman is still accelerating at 80 miles per hour. So even with different percentages of power, Flying Scotsman is still in the lead. So... Uh, for those of you who are saying, oh, it was unfair, Scotsman um, was at 200% power and Royal Scott can't do 200% power, I have changed the percentage of power, so uh, at first they were at 200% power, but now they're only at 75% power, so no matter what percent power is, 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 is uh, no matter what I do, the results are still the same. Fly Scotsman is still victorious. Why is Royal Scott so slow? Maybe she needs a back engine or, or, or a diesel or or something because I, 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 I really don't know why she's running so slow hmm we are so in the lead right now if we have a look on the map we are currently here and Royal Scott is all the way there so I, I, I think we can we can conclude 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 who's the winner I don't want to add too much detail to this racetrack, or it might just cause the game to lag or or run out only at, at 15 FPS. I mean, I don't want to add too much detail. I mean, I've only added like a little bit of scenery here and there, but I don't want to add too much, or it's like, you know, the whole game will just crash and then the train speed won't run. And that won't do, Oliver. No, it won't. Wake me up when we get there. I had no idea that I could actually get bored during a race. This is probably the first time ever that I've actually gotten bored. How about I end the video now and just say that Flying Scotsman's the winner because we've done it twice at 200% power and a second time at 75% power and Scotsman is still is victorious. I mean, was there any, ever any doubt? <laughs>